Alright, so welcome to this video on why I think Cavendish should be disqualified slash relegated from the Tour de France today. Now, first of all, we've got the rule that is important. Riders shall be strictly forbidden to deviate from the line they select when launching a sprint and in so doing, endangering others. Now, the endangering other part is always a bit questionable. No one knows what that actually means. But the point about deviating from his line is very clear. And we're about to see why uh, um, I think Cavendish should be relegated now firstly i am a massive cab fan love the man so it's not nothing to do with him it's just do with not applying the laws consistently which annoys me a lot and which is why i'm going to make this video so we can see here that cavendish um is in the green um i'll put the laser pointer on um just to make it a little bit easier to see myself uh cabs here then we got merlier then we got philipson um and luckily there's actually a line it does deviate the line doesn't actually change but when we look at it at the point I'm going to analyze it from it is perfectly straight so it's very easy to see exactly what happens so first of all Cavendish decides to launch right so he's go going off Merlier's wheel which is fine Cavendish is on the right hand side of the line which is fine and Philipson who's basically the main sprinter is on the left hand side of the line this is fine so what we expect is going to happen is that we're going to have Cavendish moving this way him moving that way and it'll all be fine like a normal sprint However, we don't have that. Cavendish goes right. Uh, unfortunately, there seems to be this uh, umbrella in the middle of the screenshot, but anyway, that is neither here nor there. Cavendish just goes on the right. Merlier is in the middle, who's leading him out, and Phillips is on the left. Now we're gonna change another one. Cavs decide to sprint straight, right? Cavs on the right hand side of this line. Cav then decides, actually, I wanna move across. So first of all, he clips Merlier, which I think doesn't really have an outcome on the end of the sprint, but he definitely clips him. If we look at here, he's there, and then he's across him so not good. Philipson is on the left-hand side of this barrier here, right? And Buhani is there. Buhani is slightly irrelevant to this because he's quite far behind and doesn't really actually impact the sprint at all. Cavs now decided that actually from here, he wants to go across. So we look forward. Now Cavs on the line. Now Cav is on the line and what he's done is he's chopped Merlier, right? Now this has also forced Philipson to stop pedaling because he's about to chop him too, which is the classic Cav. So he's now moved onto the right-hand side of the barrier on, on, the, on the line. And you can't really tell from a screenshot, but what ends up happening is that Philipson has to stop pedaling because he basically comes across him. And it's like a minute second, but he has to stop pedaling for like one pedal stroke, and that's enough for Cav to win. And so this, the point is this, is that if we watch it on this side, he should, should just continue completely on the right hand side of the thing. He chops him across and basically forces um, Philipson to move to the left here. So Philipson's like literally right by the line, two slots forward, he has to go all the way across because Cavs chopped him. And I haven't really found the perfect screenshot to show how he chopped him, but you can see here, like he's forced him, forced Murley to stop pedaling, which then forced, and he did exactly the same with Philipson. And I just think you either have to be consistent and apply a rule that if you deviate from your line, which Kevin just clearly has, we literally have a white line, then he has to be DQ'd. And like, I don't really see and you can see his protests at the end, Philipson, because he knows that he's cut, cut straight across him and then he had to stop pedaling for one pedal stroke. And at like 65k an hour, if you stop pedaling for one second, not even one second, just one pedal stroke, the amount of like deceleration you get compared to Cav accelerating, you're never going to come past him. So yeah, I, in my opinion, it's very simple. He starts on one side of the line, starts on one side of the line, ends up on the other. So that's not straight. And if it's not straight, then this is against the rules. And if it's against the rules, then you should be relegated to the last in the on the main brute. But it won't happen because it's Cav, and Cav knows exactly what he's doing. And Cav knows if he goes just across enough the front wheel, it will stop them winning a sprint, but he won't get DQ'd. He's done it before, he'll do it again, which is fine, but it's against the rules. So I just don't understand why the UCI can't punish them because they only ever seem to do actual take punishment against riders when it's big incidents and there's actual crashes. But if you punish people for doing things like this, then people won't have the big crashes. But that's too complicated for the UCI. They can't understand that, mate. That is like next level thinking. The UCI commissaires are there like, crash, no. Okay, we'll let it happen. And it's like, no, no. You punish people for breaking the rule consistently and then you don't have big crashes. But as I said, that's too next level thinking. The UCI are if I told them that, they'd be mind boggled. They'd just be like, but, but, but it's Cav. We need him to win 34 stages to get the start, like get the um, storylines. And it's like, well, yes, but you need to punish people for breaking your rules. Otherwise you get what happens in Poland. And we all know what happened there and it wasn't good. 
because he got away with it before old Gerda Wegen, and he did it again and then he caused a really bad crash. But anyway, cheers for watching, hope you did enjoy, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>